everybody. This is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're out here today. Dolly is close to calving within the next couple of three weeks. We want to kind of separate her out, put her in the front pasture where we can take better care of her. We want to put her on the other side of our barn where we have other facilities over there and keep her away from the cows and the calves that we have here. That way I think she'll do better. Uh, I just don't know how she's going to do moving her by herself away from the other cows. We put them in the other field and we're going to try to bring her out and get her over there without any problem. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, we have a staunch in place over here we we're going to use her in to milk her and all that. I don't think we're going to do that because it's just too tight of an area right now. And plus the calf would be in here with all the other cows. So we want to kind of like move her to the other side of the barn where she's by herself and she can take better care of her calf. And we're going to kind of see how that works. So we're going to give it a little bit of a shot. Okay guys, we've got Dolly in the corral now. We're going, we got her a roll of hay where she can eat a little hay here. I got some uh, sweet feed here. We're going to, um, we're kind of feeding her in here, getting her used to being here by herself. And then once she's by herself for a little while, you know, we'll open the corral back up. Got her water, everything she needs right here. Kind of getting her a little bit used to being by herself right here. You see she's in her stall here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to be rearranging these two stalls here from goats uh, to cows. Um, we've got our little hay on the other side over there. Uh, it's supposed to rain tonight, so we're kind of hoping that uh, uh, you know she'll have a place to get in and eat some hay if it's raining or something like that. Some more, huh? You want a little more? Huh? There you go. You just go ahead and eat you a little more. We're kind of using the sweet feed right now to, uh, to you know, she's already tame. It's just that when you separate one from the rest of the herd, they get a little frantic and they get a little excited. We don't want her jumping fences or, you know, getting rowdy or anything like that. So we're going to keep her in the corral. We're going to keep her where she can come in and out of the barn freely. We're going to use some sweet feed, kind of let her know that uh, she's okay. Nothing's going to happen. And, um... And hopefully everything goes well. So, guys, this is uh, part of separating cows and stuff like that from the herd. And um, when calf watch is close, we want to make sure that we don't have her off in a pasture somewhere back there in freezing rain or something all like that, and and her have the calf and us lose it. Where if she's right here in the front, every night we'll lock her in the stalls in the corral here or not in the stall we'll lock her in the corral and in the barn and we can keep an eye on her during the night so looks like she's about finished eating up here she's uh yeah it's a good girl yeah 
See, she how she is. She just a little uncertain. Being by, she still smells this feed right here. Come on, girl. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's a good girl. If she smells that hay right there, she should smell that hay. And that's good fresh hay. All right, guys, so we're going to keep a calf watch going, and we will let y'all know when something happens in the upcoming weeks. Hopefully, it won't be too long. We'll have a baby calf here in the next week or two, or maybe three. Hopefully, by Christmas. We're hoping for it by Christmas. So, thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.